how to stop self-sabotage when setting goals for 2025. Let's Hi, my name is Jenny Penny and I'm founder of Planner Perfect. I coach women how to write a better story for their life through so the power of scripting. Today's video is going to be a very good one in luau of us getting closer and closer to the new year. I wanted to kickstart us in advance and talk about some mind hacks, our thoughts and our negative thoughts, or some really deceiving thoughts that prevent us from achieving our goals and then we sabotage ourselves. Have you ever found yourself in a perpetual loop of just really not hitting the mark? Of, you know, finding yourself wasting time, listening to certain thoughts that you may have, and talking yourself out of the goals that you set? Well, this video is definitely for you. I have learned a lot about the mind over the years. I'm a mom of eight and an entrepreneur and I have definitely have come into self-sabotage when it came to my health, to relationships, and to just personal and to personal goals and even my business goals. So let's talk about what I've learned and how this knowledge of the mind is going to literally take you out of the self-sabotage. Why? Because when you know more, about what's going on and you're aware of what's going on, you then can now stop it. So today we're going to really talk about how when we go to set our goals and we're writing down all these things that we really want to accomplish up in the next coming year, we begin to write all these things down and we usually always get some really great momentum. And then all of a sudden we start to listen to the voices in our heads that slowly start to take us out of it. Either we procrastinate and we just altogether drop the ball on it. We decide we don't want to. And the reason for that is that whenever we go to make changes for our lives, our old self is going to come in and try to get us back to where we were. I have talked about this in other videos where, you know, you virtually have to be prepared for it. When you go outside of who you are and you're leveling up and you're becoming who you are, number one, in Christ, which is you have Christ's power in you and now you're going to go ahead and identify with that and you're going to walk that out. You're going to know that you can do all things through him who's going to strengthen you. You're going to achieve this goal. You're going to go do this. You're going to now start this. You're setting it all up. And usually what happens is that every single time what's going to happen is that the mind's going to come in and try to talk you out of it. It's going to say certain things to you to get you to go back into your comfort zone. It's going to be very, very deceiving and it's going to sound convincing, but it's the deceiver. It is coming in and it's going to deceive you by ways that it is going to make you think that it's you saying it to you. Like you deserve to just probably sit tonight and not do, you know, your exercises like you said you're going to do. Or you know, you've worked really hard. You deserve to break your diet this day and just, you only live once, you know, and it's just one of those kind of things where now it's going to start talking as you to you to put you back to where you were or because we're into just, we, that whole dopamine effect where we are into this short term pleasure and we're never in it for the long game. Like we have to see instant results at least within a couple days, within a week, we're trying to look for anything of like what we can see with our eyes that what we're doing is working, even though we know that what we're doing is the right thing for our lives and where we're going and where it's going to take us. 
the mind will be like, look, you haven't even lost a pound yet. And all this effort you're putting through it, just give it up for right now. Maybe think of a plan B or looks like this isn't really working. Let's try just relaxing and deserve it. Just sit down and have some coffee and just scroll on some IG. I mean, these things that go through our heads is going to be what is going to really break you and sabotage you of ever amounting to anything other than mediocre. And that is just how it is. But I want you to understand that your mind is deceiving you to thinking that it's you talking. I have been there so many times before. And in my arena, it has to do with health. So when, when I would take steps towards my health, and my diet and also with my children, if I would see something like backfire, even though I'm putting forth all this effort, when I'm doing the work, I, I mean, if there's one thing about me, I go all in and I'll do the work and I will do it. And I'm so steadfast for a little bit until my mind says, or one of my sons or me, like I'll get a symptom of like, oh, clearly this isn't working. Or, you know, even though I'm eating so clean and everything else, you might as well just have that wine if it's not working, okay? Or my son will say something like, oh, I, he'll have a symptom. I'm like, well, and in my mind, it'll say, well, you might as well just give him the food he was always loving that now you're trying to remove for his autoimmune. Just give it back to him now because his symptoms came back. So here you think it's your wise self, like literally God coming down telling you just obviously there's another way, uh, blah, 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 talking to you and talking you out. And that's exactly who you don't want to listen to. Those thoughts, when you get them, you need to be able to be aware what they are and you need to evaluate them for what they are. And does what that voice saying, if that thought, is it going to help you in your long range goal? And if it's not, then you keep on going. This is what's going to make or break your level up in 2025 is whether or not you're going to listen to the voice and the mind, the thoughts, the voices that literally you hear in your head. Are you going to listen to them? Notice that you can actually observe them going to, you're observing the thoughts. So you, you know, you're not your thoughts, you're the observer. That's your spirit and your spirit is observing those thoughts. You need to rebuke those and move your attention away from them and know that that is exactly why you're leveling up because that old self of yours is scared. It wants you to be right where you are. It doesn't like change. It loves equilibrium. It doesn't want to do anything new. It wants to keep you stuck. And that is when, you know, this is when the crap really hits the fan. I mean, this is when this is like do or die, mediocre, best life, um, living for the king, living for the world. I mean, who are we going to listen to? Who are we going to listen to? And how are we going to obtain the promise if we fall back whenever we don't see something move, when our thoughts tell us otherwise, and we completely sabotage leveling up for Christ. The only thing and the only way we can be a vessel is if we can overcome the temptation to believe the deceiver in what is being said to us, thinking it's us. It's not us. And I want you to know that I think that this, that is the biggest takeaway that I want you to write down that the thoughts that come at you to try to get you to change your mind or mind you, it's not even going to feel obvious. It, you've got to be very aware and understand that when you go to change your life, these are going to come in like, Oh no, you don't need to exercise because you know, one of mine was, oh, you don't need to, you, you, you're pretty busy around the house. You, you get that much steps, blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, 
you can break your diet today. You're going to be just fine. You've done so well. It's not, it doesn't even matter. Does this diet even work anyways? It's those kind of things that I can easily fall into and I get tricked. Like I literally think it's me talking to me. Like it's for my best good. And notice that all of these, if you really evaluate them, it's good to even like start writing these thoughts down, get them down, writing them down because then look at it like, wow, if this does not look sus, like if it's saying, yeah, I just, you deserve to chill in the night, you know, do nothing. Don't do your routine that you have, that you started up you know, just relax. And you know, you feel like, yeah, you know, and it's that it's those feelings again, you've lost your discipline, you've lost um, your your momentum, and you've lost your focus, all because you chose to listen to the thoughts that are taking away from you, your goals. And pretty soon you're back to square one, your life has never changed and you're still the same person. Now remember, when you go to set these goals, you are becoming actually somebody new. But you have the person that has that that new job or that new um, book that you're writing or that new fitness level, that is actually someone new. And you're making a decision now when you're writing these goals for 2025 that you are actually gonna become somebody different. The, and, and when you're someone different, they act different, behave different, and do things differently. And so you don't have to look around you for clues that it's working because you are that person already. So just imagine someone who already has obtained the goal you know, or living in that realm, they never even look or worry to see if more of it's coming. They, they just know because that's how they are and that's how it runs. Certain things for me, I mean, uh, that I just roll with and I don't ever have problems in that area. I just, I'll, I'll look at it and be like, it's, yeah, I mean, of course, I, I may not see it right now, but I mean, I know it's coming. I don't, you know, it's no big deal to me. Um, it really is no big deal. I just, I just know it to be true. I believe is what it is. I just, I believe if, even if I don't see something visibly with my own eyes at this single moment, I know that it's coming and I have no worry about it. I don't even think twice about it. But in other areas of my life, I might take a peek or, oh no, or whatever. Now, part this is part of the whole renewing of the mind. Once you're able to know and understand that your thoughts are not you talking, that it is literally a saboteur, now you can get back into the control, into controlling your own life again and saying, not to get behind me, Satan. You know what I mean? You're like, not today. I'm going to barrel forward, even though every circumstance in front of me shows it's not working. Or if even when you know what you're doing, you know what you know what you know, and you're going for it, even though you don't see results so fast, you're going to keep going because you're that new person. And this is how you eat now. This is how you behave now. This is how you study now. This is how you operate now. This is how you get up now. Um, and, or you are going and, you know, a symptom comes up. Like for me, a symptom comes up. My child is like, we're on the right track. God says we're, we're, that, that, that the promises of God are that we are healed. We, let's just remove the thoughts that are blocking it and quit wavering around. You know how God feels about someone who's double-minded. Let's not even get into that. In scripture, God does not want us to be double-minded because he says, do not expect him to receive anything from the Lord. You have to be single-minded if you want to obtain the promises. And the promises and the will of God are the desires of your heart when they align with the word. And when you have those goals and you're going forward and you start to doubt, keep going. 
and just rebuke it, knowing that that is not you talking to you. It will make the hugest difference in the world because you think that you're talking to yourself so lovingly. It's such a loving voice. Oh, you deserve it. You need to sit down. You've been working so hard. Just let them, let the kids blow their diet and have them order pizza. Even though I just talking about experience of where sometimes I'll be like, I would have had a really busy day and I didn't get the dinner done. And I'm, I really am trying to, you know, feed my kids consistently really healthy meals for health. And then I'll just be like, oh, it's okay. Just this one time, even though I could very well come up with something on the quick too, but it's just, you deserve it. They deserve it. It'll be fun for them. So, so fun or something like that. It's like, it comes in so manipulative, so manipulative. And that's what I want you to catch that it's manipulative and it's not you. You're the observer and it's trying to keep you where you were. So when we were called out of our old selves, we're made brand new. We're new creatures now in Christ, and we are not going to identify with the old self any longer. We are ones who go after it with just following what we know we should do, not having to look from side to side or behind us. We are going forward towards the goal. We're being steadfast. We're being single-minded. We are going, we are rebuking thoughts along the way, which is all a part of renewing the mind in Christ so that we know to stay single-minded and trust on him, even though what we look at looks like the contrary. This is what I want you to understand. We've heard all of these verses before. We've talked about it. We think about it. We memorize it, but we still are stuck. We're still stuck. You know why? I believe, and what helped me a lot, is understanding what those voices were. The voices weren't even me loving myself, like, oh, I should really love myself. It's loving to just quit. You just work so hard all the time, you know, just bail on it. And this, and, 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 and to know that especially if you've been working towards something and you can't get out, you've been around Mount Sinai for decades and you can't get out. You know you've been falling for the lies this whole time and you've not leveled up in this area of your life and now it's time to get out because I have and it's been a while because of the fact that I kept listening to the voice thinking it was either the voice of God, voice of me, if it doesn't help you get out and if it doesn't align with your new goal, don't trust it. Actually never trust it because your lower self, that saboteur, it's going to come in and it's going to talk you down. It's going to talk you out of it. And when, listen, that's why people that literally stay even keel and don't really make ripples and don't ever really try to level up really don't ever bump into any problems quite frankly, because they're, they're not trying to change. They're not trying to grow and they're not trying to expand their lives and level up. It's when we try to level up girls that that's when the manipulation starts to try to keep you back to where you were. Stay back down here. Stay back down here. I'll even get vicious, evil thoughts and I'll believe them if I'm not careful because I don't think that, yeah, no, I'll still think it's me. I'll, th I'll think that it's God. And it, it'll say something like, well, you're in this position because of X, Y, Z. And I'll get into like a hot beaded sweat at 2 a.m. And it's like, oh my, oh my God. You know, and then I've got to go back into the word and find out some things and like, no, that was a lie. <laughs> that is not true. And no. And so I've got to rebuke that. So understand that your words, that your thoughts that you have do not fall for them. I want you to write your goals and I want you to stay the course. And I want you to know that the thoughts that come at you that try to stop you is not you and that you need to do exactly the opposite of what it is saying.
and you need to go for your goals. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be a walk in the park or everybody would be hitting and slaying goals all day long, making a huge mark in the world. It's because that these goals are hard. It's hard to change. It's hard to do something bigger, better, and different. And especially because our minds want to keep us down, not realizing that that is what's sabotaging our efforts. So this year for 2025 girls, I am telling you what, we are going to now understand what is sabotaging our goals. We're going to do the work. We're going to work hard. We're going to be single-minded. We're not going to have shipwrecked faith. We're going to go for the goal and we're going to go for the prize knowing that Christ already overcame every single struggle that we may have. We're just going to have to walk through it. We have to walk through it. Our mind wants to do things that are easy. It wants that short-term gratification. It wants that ice cream right now. Even the, It does not want to play the long game ever. So if you've got a short game play going on in your mind, immediately know it's from the devil and you cut it off. <laughs> You're like, tell it, we're, get behind me. Get behind me. Not today. Not ever. It'll empower you to keep going. It'll empower you to keep going. You think something's wrong with you. Oh, something's wrong with me. That's why I procrastinate. It's just in my genes. My dad was the same way. My mom does this and so now so do I. I'm just not meant for it. I'm just not as talented. I have nothing to talk about. I can't start this up. I don't have time. I have kids. It's time to level up in 2025. It's time to do hard things. It's time to know that we can do hard things and we will do hard things, including understanding what that voice is so that we can easily tell it where to go and to keep on going. Let's bust through some boundaries and some barriers and get to the promised land in 2025. Let me know down below who's with me and be sure to subscribe if this has benefited you in any way. And um, I look forward to seeing you girls next time.